Thank you, Congressman, for uh, sharing your time with us today and your insights and expectations as to what's going on in Washington, particularly when you get back there next week. There's indeed a great deal uh, going forward for you and your colleagues, but more important for our entire country. And so we thank you for, for your efforts out there. And uh, the business community, I can tell you, stand ready to assist you. Part of thank you for the invitation and opportunity to be here today. It is a pleasure and honor for me on behalf of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce to be here to recognize Congressman Austin Scott as a friend of business, not only here in Georgia, but for our entire country. As many of you may or may not know, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce is the world's largest business federation. We represent more than 3 million businesses of every size, sector, and region, including state and local chambers of commerce, including the Valdosta Lounge County Chamber, which is one of the very best in our country, a five-star credit chamber. Each year, the U.S. Chamber polls the American business community to find out what are the issues most important to you on a day-to-day -day basis. And we then evaluate the members of Congress on how they vote on those issues. For the members of Congress who vote 70 percent or greater in that given year of Congress receives the Chamber's coveted Spirit of Enterprise Award. Last year, during the second session of the 112th Congress, the U.S. Chamber designated just 12 votes out of the hundreds taken on the House floor as some of the most important votes to the business community. Some of those issues included transportation, tax reform, regulatory reform, and energy exploration and development. I'm proud to tell you that obviously Congressman Scott earned the Spirit of Enterprise Award last year as he did the year before that. And Congressman, on behalf of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the Valdosta Chamber and the three Rotary Clubs, and they're all of our members represented here today. It is my pleasure to present you with the Spirit of Enterprise Award. Thank you for your leadership in Washington.